options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our live, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to blank. Hey! Hey everyone, welcome to a wild Friday. Today is October 25th, S&P currently up eight, NASDAQ up 164, Russell down five, Dow down 206, gold slightly green, silver flat, notes and bonds red, 10-year yield up about a half percent, oil up a little over 2%, natural gas up a quarter, grains all red, euro in the pound a little bit red, Bitcoin down one and a half percent. VIX up a couple percent, sitting at 19.53. But the daily price action is kind of the story here. Took off in the morning, blew through the upside expected move in the uh, day trading live stream. Didn't seem like uh, this thing would ever come down. Big reversal, SPX all the way back down to its lower expected move before this little bounce here. So I here's what I've done on my Bix. I am down. A, I am down about sixteen hundred. I did have one double stop on my price action Bix. Thank you to the uh, long puts. I'm up twenty seven hundred on those. So I booked. I've done a few tranches. Booked. Uh, Booked a little bit of profit, and then once they got stopped out, let the uh, puts run. My best exit on some of the long puts were six bucks. Most of them I got out of it a dollar, two dollar, four dollars kind of range. I just kind of scaled out. Uh, I'm currently in a price action big trade right now that I just put on. I also put on a early and a OG Wooga. Here's my early one, which is on the 05s and 15s. And then OG is on the 1020s. So hopefully we can book some profits there. I will, uh, I am going to take partial profits on a, on a few of the contracts on my Wooga, and then I'll we'll decide if I want to let the rest ride or what I want to do here, but. See where we end up. Um, let's see what else. I did take a uh, a bearish VRR in NDX. I did a two lot. I took one off. Booked some profits on that one just a, just a few minutes ago. Letting this one ride, or I may transform it into a risk free downside vertical. For Monday, that was a that was Monday options. So I'll uh, I'm gonna watch that and do something. Either close it or transform it by the end of the day. Uh, I've got some double calendars to put on. I will be doing all of my calendars. I'm gonna do kind of normal size on the three five three six three seven. There's no news on Monday. Let me pull up the calendar here. No news on Monday, so I like having those three uh, three DTE shorts on that day. We've got quite a few different economic announcements next week, as well as a bunch of big earnings. So I like having my longs later in the week. I'm still going to do the four seven five seven six seven, but I'm just going to go smaller. So that is my plan. Um, so let's see, my first 
I pull up my uh, calendars here. First ones that'll go on are the five, seven and the six, seven here in about 20 minutes. Uh, Chris, no, I've not, I've not done any DCs. Otherwise you, you would see them in the calendar trade channel. Uh, this, uh, can this, um, current price action, big trade, uh, this, I got in about right here. No, let's see. Yeah. About, no, let's see. When did I enter this one? Yeah, 46. So 10 minutes ago. Yeah, so right in here. Started kind of chopping sideways. Um, chess master, when you do the VRR for NDX, uh, I usually do zero or one DTE. So today I did one or in this case, Monday options. Uh, Moel, my four, seven, five, seven, and six, seven, I'm scaling down. Yeah, I like to do, I'll, I'll do a little under 30, but I, I would say at least 20, low 20s as far as DTE on those VXX ones. I prefer, to, yeah, around 30 is my ideal duration. Close to 20% here. There it is. Oh, in, uh, in this morning's live stream, I was down a couple hundred bucks. I did a, uh, I did a trade in coin. And that was a mighty 90 short. Started having these little pops in volume. I waited, 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 and I got in about right here. It pushed against me, gave some heat. I tried to add right here, and I didn't get filled. It ran away from me. And so when we came down here and then bounced a little bit, I got out. So that was like a $40 loss. The other one I did was Google. Tried to do an upside continuation runner, had that big push. It started to chop here. And so I just kind of drew a line right at the bottom of that consolidation. Got in about right here and if it went up. I'd let it run, but it pushed down. So I cut it for small loss. And then Microsoft. That was a short, mighty 90. Got in around here and I had a had a little pullback 
little two bar pullback and got out for a small profit. But then um, this afternoon, I posted in the day trading channel, CrowdStrike, something, something happened in CrowdStrike. I have no idea what, but had a big drop, big volume spike. I just kind of watched it. This thing bounced all the way back up to about here. And then it just flushed down. And so when it came back up to about uh, yesterday's low, I got short for a downside volume runner. It pushed up. I took a little bit of heat on that bar, but then it reversed. And that's when the market really started getting weak. I closed out my last one right here near the bottom. And so that was good for about 1900 But I'm not sure exactly what what all triggered the downside, but there was a notification in financial juice around noon. It is possible there are more than 3,000 North Korean troops in Russia. Didn't really see anything about the Middle East. But it was really well when the when the when the real flush happened, that was about noon. Before it was just kind of a gradual push down and then it really started pushing starting at about just after noon central. Yeah, if Mr. Mahomes wants to play today, it's definitely going to be a late entry. We stay in a pretty narrow range between now and the end of the day. We might be able to get in. Yeah, I'm still waiting for the October surprise. DJT up another 11%. Thing's been on a tear. That thing is almost quadrupled in the last since the end of September. Reddit up 3%. All the chips are up. Tesla adding on to its earnings gains. On the red side, CrowdStrike I mentioned, Riot Blockchain down four, Goldman Sachs down two. Looks like all the banks are red. NVIDIA almost got to a new all-time high before coming down. Netflix also was approaching it. Yeah, but it, it got slammed back down before hitting a new all-time high.
The waters have calmed for now. Next week, a lot of big boy earnings. Meta, Microsoft, Google, Amazon, Apple. So that's that's the other reason I'm doing my calendars a little bit light on the four seven five seven six seven because of the big earnings next week. And then I mentioned before, but I won't be doing next Friday, I won't do any calendars with the election. My Wugas are both up about 17, Well, if we can stay between 15 and 25, I still have a shot to be green on my Bix. I need a pin. Need a pin on my last tranche. So my regular Bix that I do with IB, that's all on TAT. So that's all botted. And then on my price action Bix, I enter them with Trade Steward. And then I, you know, I got to manually close. You know, if I hit 20%, I manually close some. If I hit 40%, I manually close some. But I enter, I enter all of them on bots. Yeah, for sure. Yep. Broker resting. I was just, I was seeing too much slippage with uh, the, any of the bot algo ver, uh, variations. And like today, you know, worked out beautifully. So I got stopped on my shorts, kept my longs, let them, let them ride for a while.
No, with Tat, I just all those bics are scheduled. So I've got a tranche that goes off at 8:45, 9:15, 9:45. This one I I had already gotten stopped out on one side on those, so I went ahead and entered one at 10:24. That was a manual entry. But then 12:25, 12:55, 1:10, 1:55. Those are all just scheduled. So on the price action bix, if uh, you know if I close, if I close some at let's say twenty percent, so for example, if I you know use the little double yellow down arrows and I I close half, then it'll close my shorts and my longs for whatever number of contracts I choose. But if I get stopped out because it's broker resting on the shorts only, then um, then my longs will still be in play and then I'll manually either close them or let them ride. Which I like because, you know, if... If price is centered and I'm taking profits, that means price is calm, right? So I don't mind it closing the longs at that point. But if I get stopped out, that means price is moving. And so then if I get stopped out of the shorts, then I can make the decision on what to do with the longs. Uh, Dark Avenger... I mean, I assume I would. I'm not. I'm not sure what you mean by the video note, but I mean, I would assume I would take the same strikes. You know, the bot just executes the price nearest to whichever one I'm using, the three dollars or the four dollar strikes. So maybe maybe clarify. I'm not sure if I answered your question. Uh, yeah, I like the Bix better. You mean like manually entering the, the price action BIX versus the just scheduled ones, Dark Avenger? Oh, okay. Um, I, I, you know, I, I, I just, I really like both because on my, you know, on my ones in tat, I just let them go. And, um, you know, that's proven to, to do really well. And then I also like the price action ones where I can scale out and book profits along the way. You know, some days one performs better, some days other, the other one performs better. So I really like, I really like the combo of doing both. And just got stopped out on the put side of that one on my remaining two. So now I've still got these two long puts. They are worth it's my fifty seven sixty, so yeah, it'd be these ones. They're worth fifteen to twenty cents. All right, hang on a minute. I am getting my five seven and six seven coming in. All right, so we got the thirty-five seventy.
All right, five, seven, six, seven just posted. I have those set with a specific max dollar allocation. It only took a one lot for each one, so that's fine. I'm okay with that. Yep, they are juiced since there's nothing going on Monday and a lot going on the rest of the week. Earnings, economic announcements. Hang on one second. Let me just group my five, seven, and six, seven. Right. Next up would be the four seven. You're in about fifteen minutes. Wugas are looking good. Uh, as far as Bix, uh, why why do I like those better? Just because you know, if you get a if you get a big move, then you are essentially, you know, pretty much gonna it's pretty much gonna be a scratch trade. Might be a small loser, might be a small winner. Whereas, you know, if you get stopped out of a regular iron condor, you're taking whatever your stop was, right? So I've I've just found it much easier de to deal with and more profitable. So yeah, I'm I'm kind of putting together the content to have a little bit more detailed explanation of what I'm doing, but um Essentially, just from a high level, you can just think of it as exactly what you're used to doing with TLC, you know, just looking for pockets of consolidation. And instead of entering the uh, the normal iron condor, you're just entering the iron condor, but managing each side separately. Ewuga up 35%, regular Wuga up 30. Ewuga, I got in at 615, so I'm going to put a profit target of three bucks to get out of a couple. Regular Wuga got in at 505. I'll get out of a few at 250. Yeah, it's just a it's just a probabilities game. Oh, Chris, sorry, I didn't 
I didn't address your question. Uh, so the, this is a setup too for Bic, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly how I have it set up. So let's see, I was getting ready to check these. So that was the 5760s. Yeah, so those are only worth five or 10 cents, five cents. So I'm just going to let those go for now, just in case. What's everybody doing this weekend? Anything fun? Anything fun and exciting? I am, what am I doing? I'm not doing anything, I don't think. I might sit in a deer stand. It's just too warm here to really hunt. Haven't had any active shooters in the building today, so that's good. Ooh, Elliot Taxes. That sounds fun. Pickleball. I love a good pickleball. You're going to, I'm going to need some more ex explanation on that one discount. Do I need to Google that? Biggest Hindu holiday. Okay. Fun, fun. All right, so four seven coming here in about four minutes. <laughs> Fed it decay. It's when it turns green. Mm -hmm. 
gold is close to uh, hitting, hitting a new all-time high. It's kind of hit one on Wednesday, been chopping just below Thursday and today. If we bounce up a little bit more, I will get out of three of my six Woogas. OG Wooga. So I talked about <clears throat> earnings and then a bunch of econ reports. So what that is next week is, like I said, nothing on Monday. Tuesday jolts 30 minutes after the market opens and consumer confidence. Wednesday, ADP non-farm employment change and GDP pre-market. Thursday, pre-market core PCE and unemployment claims. Friday, Bunch of employment data, pre-market, and then ISM 30 minutes after the market opens. Yeah, that'd be wild, right? We close unchanged after all this action. Right there. Just did my three six. My four seven.
There's my four seven. All one lot so far, as expensive as these things are. Wugas are getting close to hitting profit target. I'm closing half of each at right around 50%. Need to ping pong around here a little bit more. It'll bounce up, hit this one, come back down, hit the other. I've got my three, five and three, seven left. Fifteen butterflies trading for about a dollar. Ten butterfly, about the same. Early Wooga should be hitting. Filled three bucks to close half. All right. Now we can bounce back up and hit my OG Wooga.
It's trying. Put my order at 250. It's trading for about 260. Fifty-five should be hitting. Touching 250. Hit it. Dancing all over it. Just didn't want to quite give it to me. Yeah, got to bounce back up above 12, above 13. Come on, hop back up there. Yeah, they were trading for a dollar just a minute ago. Yeah, still trading for about a buck. Well, it was nice to calm down for us for power hour. Got about 18 minutes to go.
and butterflies up to about a dollar twenty. All right, three five and three seven incoming here in the next couple minutes. So close to getting out of half my wooga. Yeah, I set alarms on my phone, Moel. <laughs> Very sophisticated. Just need one more little push, one little bounce. All right, Wooga hit out of half. All calendars posted. Now it's time for the Mahomes show, if we can get filled. Still only at about a dollar twenty-five or so, but we're between strikes.
get rid of these little stragglers to make room for my homes. So I booked a little over 3,000 on my price action BIX today. That's doing, um, I was doing four and five contracts per, per lot today or per trade. One, two, three, four, five tranches. Same thing you're used to with TLC, Moel. Just looking at price action to enter. And then managing them big style. Yeah, that's what I was talking about earlier. I do all my scheduled ones on TAT, and those are just based on the scheduled time the tranches go in, and then the other ones I do are more discretionary based on, you know, I'm looking for pockets of consolidation, kind of like you do with TLC. Still sitting in between strikes. Oh, MOC. I don't have my uh, streamer on. There we go. I think it said buy side 825 million. That's 13 to buy side, 20 million. Max seven stocks to sell side on 30 million. It's pretty tiny. Yeah, 825 million sell side. I think I said buy side. All right, work in the 10s and 15s. Ewuga's up 73%, OG Wuga up 60. Working in 05. So 
sitting right on the tens. Looks like it's trading for about a dollar eighty-five ish. I mean, 10 and 15 would be ideal for my remaining Wugas. SPX is currently unchanged on the day, my friends. All that movement for nothing. Tens look like they're close. I filled on one. Filled on some more. Filled on seven of the tens. Hold on seven of my 20. Well, shoot, now I just canceled my fives. Well, I'll just let those seven ride. The bot has not filled yet. Build on the O fives on my bot. Three and a half minutes to go. I got filled on seven of 20 on the tens. Just going to cancel the rest. But now I don't have any verticals working. All right, filled in my seven verticals. So locked with a seven lot.
So I'm locked in for a guaranteed 945. If we rip higher, that'd be ideal. We are right at unchanged. Get up there. Get on up. Get on up. 20 seconds. Yeah, between 10 and 15 would pin for Wugas. Come on. Come on, little buddy. One more little push. You got to you got to close green. There's the bell. 5808.11. Good day, my friends. Good day. Thank you to the long puts for making my day. Thank you to Mahomes for closing it out. Mahomes has had a good week. All right, all that is a wrap. Uh, next week, so Chad is out. He's killing big, innocent animals. Uh, so there's no live stream at the open on Monday. Uh, but we will be doing power hour all week. I'll be running the live stream in the morning on Tuesday. No AM live stream Wednesday. I'll be in Thursday and then Chad will be back at it Friday. All right. All have a good weekend. Rest up. Get ready for some big earnings. Take care. Have a good one.